I'm Kai Tursky, and people are always asking me how I take photos with my GoPro while skiing. They think they're all these crazy tricks, but I'm here today to show you how easy it can be. In this episode of the GoPro Field Guide, I'm going to be teaching you how I use my Hero 4 Silver to take awesome photos. We'll be taking four runs through the park, and each run we're going to use a different mount or technique. So for this first run, I'm just going to hold the camera in my hand and cruise around. The easiest thing to do is half second time lapse mode. That way you get photos of your entire run and you don't have to worry about turning the camera on and off. If you're doing a handheld cam, this is what I recommend. Because we're taking photos, try doing vertical and horizontal shots. If you do want to get a specific shot on a certain feature, you can use burst mode and press the shutter button before hitting the jump or rail. Use a longer duration burst like 30 photos in 3 seconds or 30 in 6, which is available with the new software update. Use the time on a lift to sift through your photos on the built-in LCD. It's great to do this to see what worked and what didn't. Now for these next runs, I know where the lighting is best and what features photograph well. So for my second run, I'm going to use the pole mount attached to my ski pole. This is a great way to get the camera a little further away. Don't forget to smile! What I like about this mount is that at any moment you can turn the camera around to get photos of your friends or do a follow cam. Try lots of different angles and get creative with it. Smile, stick your tongue out, throw a peace sign, have fun with it. For run three, we're going to use the three-way from GoPro. This is a great mount that can be configured to keep the pole out of the shot. To do this, put a slight bend in the arm to get the camera away from the handle. Personally, I prefer shots where you can't see the handle, so I'm going to use the LCD to frame it up perfectly. I also like to use a smart remote to trigger burst to get the most shots while in the air. For this, I use the wrist strap to attach the remote to the handle. Now, it's super easy to trigger the shutter button. This is my favorite setup and I use it for more than just skiing. For this last run through the park, I'm going to set up the camera to capture a few rail photos. For this, I'm using the tripod that's built into the three-way mount. Use the LCD to frame the perfect angle. The camera is still synced to the remote, so I'm going to put it in 30 photos in 3 second burst mode. Right before I get into the frame of the photo, I'm going to press the shutter button on the remote. Great! One of those should come out. It's been four runs, and I'm sure I've got a few good photos. I'm going to pick a few of my favorites out to share with all of you. Who knows? Maybe if I hashtag GoPro, I'll get photo of the day. Thank you for watching, and always remember to have fun while using your GoPro. Your photos will thank you for it. Am I recording? Yeah. Are You're you? recording. Is that recording? Yeah. That's recording. There's so much recording happening.